Hello my wild and crazy golden year peeps. It's Lala and welcome to the wild and crazy golden years where today I'm going to show you some simple exercises and healthy eating tips that will help you make the most out of your day. Now it's very important that we take care of our bodies inside and out so that we have our optimum health throughout our golden years. This is the way. Off we go. Now I always like to start with hydration. I know I beat that horse to death, but it's true. Hydration is so important. Did you know that basic daily activities like walking and breathing can cause you to excrete water and lead to dehydration? Especially as seniors, we are prone to a dehydration. So basically you just need to know the rule of eight to 10 or eight ounces of water a day, or which is easier for me is I divide my weight by two and that's how much water I drink throughout the day. It sounds like a lot, but coffee, teas, a zero calorie drinks all count towards your total ounces of water a day. Get the most out of your water, you need to add some electrolytes. They come in powders, they come in liquid, but they can help replace the salt and minerals that you've lost throughout your day. So if you're new to my channel and like this content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up so I can continue to bring my wild and crazy but helpful videos to you. In our golden years, a healthy meal should include lean proteins like lean meats and fish, eggs and beans, fruit and veggies, think orange, red, green and purple, and then whole grains, brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat pasta and breads. Unless you have a gluten allergy, then you need to choose those gluten-free. Same with low-fat dairy. If you can't tolerate dairy, you need to find a milk and yogurt alternatives. You should eat protein with every meal. This will help you feel fuller between meals so that you're not snacking, plus give you more energy. This is portion control. You really need to watch your portions, especially as we get older because our digestion has slowed down and we cannot uh, digest like we used to. So I get this cute little plate that I found at TJ Maxx. It's a salad plate and that helps me keep my portion small and give me the illusion that I'm eating what the big people are eating. I have found also that cutting my carbs, my sugar and salt has really made a big difference on my digestion. My gut is so much happier. You know, I'm not bloated or going to do that awful thing that you usually do when you're bloated. And um, it helps me keep my current weight. Another tip to help with digestion and to lose weight, if that's what you're looking to do, is all the rage now, it's intermittent fasting. And it's so funny because it turns out I've been doing it for years, my husband and I, because we eat like at seven or eight o'clock in the summer and then we don't eat again till 11 or 12 the next day. So we were doing that intermittent fasting break your fast, it needs to be a nice healthy eating during those eight hours. And it's no, it's not constant eating for eight hours or 10 hours, however, however long you decide to do it. Now, research shows that intermittent fasting may slow the aging process, improve insulin sensitivity, and even help people to maintain lean, healthy tissue as they drop weight. Okay, I have a disclaimer. Before you start any type of fasting, you need to speak with your physician to find out if it's something that would benefit you or hamper you based on your current health issues at this moment. Okay, next is the movement and exercise. It's so important that we move throughout the day. This will help ease joint pain and stiffness and it helps with your posture and balance. You can sneak these kind of exercises in throughout your day depending on what you're doing. So say you're ironing, you can do them. You're doing dishes, you're brushing your teeth, you're putting together a puzzle. It's endless. So let me show you. Mountain the Goat Pen. It is 34 degrees and 21 mile an hour winds. But in the Goat Pen in this area, it's probably only 15 mile an hour winds. So I will. I have my two count You can do one or two, or you can do none at all. Just so you're moving. Very important. Position shoulder. Your legs are shoulder width apart, your posture's good, hold in your belly, and let's move. So I start with little bicep curl and flops. Don't knock that cue. This is probably very dangerous. All right, I will also do side raises. Flat raises. Uh oh. Goat's going insane. Hi. I just feel. Okay. 
Add those two. Then I will do my tri-sweeps. Okay. Now, pop your head on that seat. You don't have to bend over. So you can work try this. You just want your back as straight as possible. You don't want to hang your head. That is not the way. This is the way. Now move your back to your hip. Now, as I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm just showing you what's worked for me for the last 10 years. Work it in wherever you can. You need to hold on to something that's light. That's light. And I do as many of these as I feel good at least 10 to 15. Nice and small. With that's very important and uh, posture to help your balance of posture is I'm going to go from my toe. Better if I have something to hold on. I really need. Come over here, Hank. Come here, Hank. I need something to hold on to. Chloe, good. They're not beautiful. Go up on your toe and down. Raise them to the heaven. Thank you, Hank. Up on my toes and down. Raise them to the heaven. So, like I said, this is much easier to do until you've built up enough strength to add weight. Good thing to do while I'm out with the goaty goat is I will march in place. To your own music, to your own time. My favorite is barbecue tongs, barbecue tongs, barbecue tongs. Yay! You still have to keep your posture. Move, move, walk around the yard. Act like you own it. All right. Whoa! Things you can do, and you can do that while gardening, you know, watering your garden. Need movement. I know that when I sit down for too long, I cannot, uh, when I get up, better not be a fire because I'm so stiff, I would have to be drug out by my hair. But when you, now you've been outside and you, you're walking around say for 20, uh, 30 minutes, 10 minutes even, several times a day. You said you can do these squats in front of your sink when you're brushing your teeth. You can do them uh, when you're washing dishes and you can get upper body in. Oh, and you can do these while wine tasting. Yes. Especially the upper body. Lots of work out there. Okay, last but never least is sleep. Solid, wonderful Z's all night long. <laughs> that way when you wake up in the morning, you are all refreshed and you can take on your day with gumption. So there's a couple of tips, my friends, and I know you've heard these before, but they are important and they do work. And that is not to eat or drink alcohol three to four hours before you go to sleep. I'm telling you, it really works. Other things that you can do to help rewind, your, rewind, unwind yourself, well, you could rewind too, is to, uh, get when you get into bed, is to do some deep breathing, do your stretches, meditate if you can. I cannot meditate. So I, being a woman of faith, I pray. And, and it really helps to ground me, to focus me, and to calm me. So hopefully I can turn off that chatter and fall to sleep. I know I'm beating this horse to death, but I could so, so use your suggestions and your feedback in the comment section below. I'm here for you guys. Throw me a bone. <laughs> All right, now if you need some jocularity in your life, try reading Jack Handy's Deep Thoughts every day. I have a sample here. Why do people in ship mutinies always ask for better treatment? Now, I would ask for a pinball machine because with all that rocking back and forth, you'd probably be able to get in a lot of free games. <laughs> okay, I will see you next Wednesday, my wild and crazy peeps. Don't be late.